Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restorations. This is 1941 Scientific's batting practice. Uh, this is uh, our first video of this machine. Uh, it's be re being restored for a client to museum quality. Um, we just got this uh, not too long ago, and this will be the first one of, uh, I think we received four machines from this gentleman, and uh, we are going to uh, get this one done first. Uh, very neat game, very similar to Irving Kay's batting practice. Uh, that's 1968. This is 1941. Um, the box almost is identical. Uh, graphics are completely different. This game has uh, got a pretty elaborate uh, uh, graphics on the side here. For the time, too, for 1941, it's pretty, uh, pretty ornate. As we come around the sides here, you know, you're looking at this and you're thinking this is silver. But uh, with a little cleaning and getting rid of all this nicotine, this silver becomes a light baby blue. Here we go close to these graphics over here. These are really, really sharp. Unfortunately, we are not going to keep all of this because we are doing a complete restoration. So all this stuff will be copied and redone identical to the way it is now. <clears throat> the game uh, in the back did not have its uh, back uh, backboard on here, but that's not a problem. Uh, but the game is complete. All the coils look pretty good. I don't see anything uh, obvious uh, that needs any work except that spring, of course. Uh, we got a there's a couple transistors over here that uh, either need to be replaced or reconnected because they're all disconnected now. Uh, this is a neat little mechanism here. What this is doing is the ball comes off of the play field, sits in this little pocket. As it comes up, the ball is dropped into this little bucket, comes around, and what we're going to see is it comes down this track in which that's where the ball is brought to the bat and that's where you're actually swinging at it. But uh, right now it looks like it's all complete. Uh, we didn't do anything yet. Wow, look at that. The fuse is inside this machine. That's definitely old school. And here's the motor for this whole thing. Uh, Looks like someone has done some work here. This motor may may not be the original motor because I can tell there's some brand new screws in here, some uh, new plates made. Uh, we have not fired up and uh, we probably won't until we go over this whole thing to make sure everything is intact. All right, as we come around here, we do need extensive plywood repair. <clears throat> this is a painted game, so. We just uh, just fix all that. That's not too big of a problem. Now, if it was a stained stain game, uh, then we have a whole another issue with veneers that we have to uh, replace. A lot of nail pops, cracks, and if you look real close to the machine, we just can't paint over all of this. This all has to be sanded down, filled, primed because. If you don't take care of the bottom, what's on the bottom will always come through. It's just like a linoleum floor. If you got a crack on underneath that, that flooring, it's going to show through eventually. It's just a matter of time. Someone did do some work with this little front door here. I'm not sure if they just sanded it, painted it. It's not the same color as the rest of the game. Uh, we have the coin mech that's all intact. I'm not sure if it's the original coin mech uh, because I don't believe the door is. Uh, you can tell that at one time someone did some work trying to get it open and if you look at the coin box itself it's pretty much perfect and over here you can tell that's almost that looks like an animal trying to get in or out of this thing it's been chewed uh, pull back a little bit look at this gun handle this is what swings the bat as I squeeze it see it do that. Very, very cool. Let me come around and get you a better picture of this. Now all of this will be re-chromed to show chrome. It'll be absolutely beautiful. 
Now, different than Irving Kay's batting practice, look at these guys here. All these men are extremely detailed. They're painted three to, three to four different colors. Uh, there's a pole that they're sitting on that will absorb the hit of one of these balls because Irving Kay's guys were just made of uh, rubber, and eventually they just got so hard that the from the ball hitting them, they just feet just cracked, and you would find these little guys in the back of the game sometime when they got moved. And uh, that's why we have all these guys here, but they've been really beat up, so we are going to restore them or uh, completely make new ones. And if you look real close, these guys are not just on a piece of plastic. That is a stained piece of wood that each one of these guys are on. You can also see on the edge here, looks like a quarter sawn um, base shoe going around the side of the game. See that on both sides, and it goes up. Even in the back back glass, it's all stained wood. Object of this game was the ball would come rolling down, and with the pistol grip, you would swing the bat. And what you needed to do was get it all the way up to the back there, and you'll see these the stands at the top. You can barely see it. It says home run. Below it's triple, double, single. That is how the game's going to keep score. And each time the ball gets dropped behind there, it goes down. You can see an a aluminum ramp there, and they all go to the back of the game. And where, where that little arm would pick it up and bring it right back up and shoot it down this uh, ramp. Pull back to this machine here. Well, if you're in the market for an arcade game, ball bowler, or uh, need your game restored, please give us a call. We're located in Chicago. This is Vintage Coin Op Restorations. i uh, love to talk to you about any of these games or uh, if you have anything else in mind. Uh, one other thing that we're looking on here is on top of the game, we're missing the marquee. The marquee is going to be restored. If we can't find it, uh, we're going to check the shed to see if uh, maybe it just got left behind. But uh, right, right now... Uh, we are going to do our best to try to find it. Again, this is Vintage Coin Op Restorations. Uh, we're located in Chicago. Our phone number is 630-624-7466. And thanks for watching.